The Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. It happens every year and I've never wanted to go. <laughs> That's right, everybody. Don't you reckon? But nah. Why not? My time has passed for that, yeah. that, that, that shenanigans. All right, uh, but throw, you back, <laughs> yeah. throw yourself back in, your in a few years. You'd go, man, that Back in the day, going. Sean Burning Man... Mm. For shears, I would have been wearing some feathered harness. Yeah, <laughs> friends of mine went a few Riding years a ago, penny farthing. and it was like a harness and kind of a weird face yeah. mask thing made out. It looked half gas mask, half yeah. yeah you go a bit steampunk. Mask. Yeah, it was, it was all over the did place. Did they have a they have a ripping time, by the way? Oh, they, of course they did. Yeah. Like what, what's not so But I, it's not, it's not for me. It's yeah. a, anything that. To be honest, than, you know what it is. More than two hours long, I'm like, no. It time. just looks so. Exhausting. I know, but, every, but they're all no, having a great time. but if you're in it, you're partying with all these celebrities who just just it popping up out of anywhere in the middle of the desert. I know, but Sean, like it's so kooky. Like you know, you're sleeping in a wheelbarrow. Yes. Like it's the whole thing's just so. <laughs> the whole thing's you pay just extra so for weird. that. You do, Natalie. <laughs> um, the whole thing's just I don't know. I, I just think that it, it looks exhausting, and um, and yeah, it's not for me. No, you're saying stuff for me now. Nathan Not for Morris. me now. Even maybe, maybe, maybe back in the Nathan day. Morris would have... The guy that gets off the boat after the day, the day boat and yeah. is walking along mm. yeah. Apple Cross Foreshore using people's hoses when for I a drink of water. When I took my black plastic pants off because I yes. was too hot. Yes, he That's, would have gone. Yes. He would have had a great he time. He probably thought he was... <laughs> Well, I, I don't think he even would have a great time this year. Uh, of course, we've seen the um, floods yeah. and the mud over there is absolutely insane. 73,000 people are stuck. Uh, a lot of them are taking to foot and trying to get out of there. It's um, not, I bet it's not a short walk out it's either. Not a short walk. No, 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 no. You're in the middle of nowhere. Yes. Yeah. yes. You're in the middle it's, of it's nowhere. It's the Nevada desert. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, uh, it's not great. Not great. Uh, but the thing that has blown me away is that these people who are in uh, an area, this is in America, by the way, is, is you're in America. Mm-hmm. They've been told to conserve their food and water <laughs> because they can't get anyone they, to them and they can't get out. They're going to have to start doing aerial food drops it's into the insane. area at this, at this rate. I know. Is. This is So here's some of the people there. Well, hello from a very soggy burning man. Um, we're kind of screwed here. And normally we pack up today and leave tomorrow. And that's not happening. And it's supposed to rain again tomorrow. So I think we're stuck here for another three or four days before we can get off this playa. A lot of people have already inventoried their food. And everyone is trying to at least have enough food until Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah, but there's people who are just not even listening to any of these no, announcements. That's right. or they they're went, off their chops. They went oh, too hard early guts. and they just don't have any food. Yeah, now. yeah, they, yeah they, absolutely. Well, guys, Casey Donovan's there. Hopefully, I'll be arriving in Sydney on my flight on Friday. <laughs> Slim chance. Yeah, I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Oh. Casey well, Donovan's sense. there. The people, mm. And even the people that are there are weird. Like, Casey Donovan, what are you doing? And Chris, Chris Rock. Rock. What are you doing? You're too old for that. <laughs> That's true. But was he performing there, maybe? Maybe he was performing there? I don't know. No, would he be? I don't know. Maybe spoken word or something. Oh, okay, well, yes. wouldn't even Stand-up be, comedy? No, wouldn't even be stand-up. It's Burning Man. You can't do what you do there. You have to do some whacked-out weird thing. <laughs> you do. At the front of someone's tent. Like, exactly. Like, lie down with me and my 20 friends and let's make a human dream catch-up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Rock would be bang up for that, surely. I've, um, the only time I've ever had to conserve food and water, um, uh, and it wasn't water but it was food, was when I was in the Big Brother house and that yep. was because we got no food. Yeah, and yeah. what was there was there. You had to ration it out. And like we even had to cut pita bread. You know how thin pita bread yes. is? We had to cut that in half. And it was mouldy, by the way. Yeah. Um, and we had to cut that in half and have half a half, half a pita bread each um, and then we would toast it so we'd toast the mould away because we thought that would kill mould. Does mm. toasting mould yeah, kill mould? Anyway, I'm, I'm alive. Yeah. Yeah, so that's <laughs> so and he, he never had COVID. So that's right. <laughs> and I've never had COVID. Hashtag penicillin. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I was going to ask you on that note. So there, whilst mm. you guys were doing that, there's always someone in the group who was trying to eat all the food though and yeah. stuff you up because yeah. people can't handle that. Did that happen? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But we um, there were cameras everywhere, so um, it sort of held people accountable. The only time I did steal somebody else's food when we were conserving food, and that was Mirabai. She's a vegetarian, and I realised that there was no cameras in the fridge, so I was starving because we had a big night the night before. So I just put my head in the fridge and then just like like <laughs> breathed in about three of her vegetarian sausages. <laughs> so I've imagined a sausage right in the going, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> like just like pushing yeah. it in like a pencil and pencil sharpener. Yeah. And Cooked or raw? Raw. Oh. But it's vegan. it's vegan. No, I know, but so still. So I wasn't bleeding. 
but still <laughs> <laughs> flavourless raw <laughs> vegan sausages. No, 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 and to be honest, that was delicious for that day. We want to know if you've been in a scenario where you were forced to conserve food and water. Yeah, I'm thinking, remember that time, all those flights, there was a, a, um, a thunderstorm hovering over Perth mm. Airport and there were planes that had landed but they weren't allowed to offload and just sat there for 10 hours on the tarmac with whatever food they've got left on the plane. Oh, wow. Remember that? And not oh, knowing when it was going to yeah. gonna clear up. Right. 10 hours of that. Um, you've had to conserve your food and water. Why? Uh, we're going to give somebody um, a Scarborough Live... A trip Live. to Burning Man. Oh, no. <laughs> a, a Scarborough Live voucher valued at $300. Suspend a participating businesses in Scarborough, such oh, cool. as Rip Curl Scarborough. Nice. Oh, see you there. How good that? That's awesome. Sure, All right. never... Just tell us why you had to conserve your food and water. Nick's in the vines. Hi, Nick. Hey, how you going, guys? Hey, good buddy. Good when Nick. did you have to conserve your food and water? All right. So, look, I used to drive road trains and uh, got to Port Hedland yeah. and had a job out to Marble Bar. So what happened was a um, big cyclone came through. This would have been about three years ago. Cyclone yeah, yeah. came through. And uh, heading from Port Hedland to Marble Bar, there's a couple of floodways there. So, anyway, I'm at... Uh, one end of the slugway heading towards Marble Bar. And the other guy, that uh, same company I work for, yeah. was on the other side, you see, and um, he ran out of smokes. And so did Marble Bar, because everyone stopped up. So smokes. every time I drive around, smokes. Smoke. Yeah, yeah, cigarettes. Cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah, cigarettes. Yeah, cigarettes and that yeah. sort of stuff, yeah. you know. Yeah. Cigarettes. And like, the story gets better, but yeah. you see, he's desperate for a couple of durries. So what is, I don't <laughs> smoke, so I bought him a pack of cigarettes from Port Hedland. And yeah. always carry a fishing rod yeah. or two in the truck. Especially when you're going up north. You never know, you know, you're waiting for something and yeah. Yeah, you might be able to drop a line anyway. But yeah, that's yeah. pretty short. Yeah. So I'm um, looking at looking at me, mate, across the uh, floodway there. And it's distance, you know, probably anywhere between 30 to 50 metres or whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. And it's pretty deep, like two metres, you know, two metres deep. And I'm looking yeah. at him and he's saying for a durry, so I'm sitting there with a pack of stickies holding it up. And he's uh, looking at me. And then the next thing you know, Put out those Ziploc bags, yes. Hook it onto my fishing rod with a good sinker, yeah. and start casting them over. Oh, yes. <laughs> right. So I'm casting You're over a these durries. So Catch these durries. Right. Oh, I yeah. am. But the thing was, casting these durries, and he's on the phone to me. He goes, "Mate, look, you got any food?" And I said, "Look, I've got a whole pack of sausages here." <laughs> I've got a whole, pack, yeah, a whole of pack, pack of sausages here. Yeah. Yeah, well, luckily I had a whole pack because I kept them in the fridge anyway. I always carry food. Yeah. yeah. yeah so what I was, I got those uh, glad. Ziploc bag, so I started sticking two or three sausages in there, yeah. climbing up with a uh, with, uh, fishing line, braid, mind you, and a cast braid, it off yep. to him. And next thing you know, he's catching him. And it's like, oh, beautiful. So basically, I saved this guy's life. You did, you did, did you know, too. You like, did. He could be stuck on the other side of the floodway for a couple of days. I know. Days, yeah. He saved his life but, and uh, gave him cancer all yeah, at once. Yeah. It's and amazing. Like casting sausages, <laughs> sausages and cigarettes. <laughs> oh, it's definitely. You, you know, man's got to do what man's got to do, you know. It's the guy's in an unfortunate position, but yes. on the other hand, um, I didn't make him uh, starve for it. I was hanging him I up. Know. I don't smoke anyway, but I was lighting him up, so shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe not, you know. And he's been already, like, 18 hours without a diary. He's like, oh, oh, yeah, oh, sweet oh, bullets. Pardon me. Oh. oh, mate, look, I'm really hanging for it. I'm talking yes. on the phone. I go, yeah, I've got a full packet right here, mate. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, oh yeah. Nick. Good time. Pretty good cast, shenanigans, Nick. yeah. I mean, yeah Rodney would love to have been in the third car watching this yes, happen between exactly. the two trucks. <laughs> Little bundles of sausages What's he flying doing? over What's the floodway. What's he plug doing, plug? Sean? I think he's putting sausages on the end of a fishing line. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what do you catch with those? Uh, Trace is in in a loo. Hi, Trace. Hi, how are you guys? Good, Good choice. When did you have to conserve your food and water? Uh, well, it was about a year or so ago. Probably timeline is probably uh, wrong. We were heading to Carnarvon uh, for a camping trip and mm. uh, we thought we'd uh, cut through Mount Augustus. Uh, that was a great idea to do that, stay the night. Yeah. Um, but the floods were there. We got <laughs> caught both ways. We couldn't go back. We couldn't go forward. We were actually stuck there for five days oh. with about um, 30 other people yeah. in the caravan park there. So we had to, we were all sharing food. Um, yes. We adopted uh, a motorbike rider who was coming from Queensland, driving to Steep Point. Um, oh, yeah. All he had in his pack was food for one night oh. and and a packet of snakes. So a he was actually able to <laughs> negotiate food parcels yes. by giving a snake to somebody for a meal. Yeah. So um, he so actually snakes had, are used had, as currency. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he actually had the most power at that point. <laughs> <in the Caribbean. laughs> uh, but we did also have a little bit of a card up our sleeve. We had a carton of beer that nobody oh, used. Oh, so we yeah. Now, do you 
you tell the rest of the villagers about the carton of beer uh, or do you hide no, it? Well, we shared some mm. to the snake man yeah. and uh, we did uh, drink the rest secretly. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 You don't yeah. want to let everyone yeah. know what's what you got no. stashed away. You know, no, you've got to keep it safe. Trace, yeah. did you, did, yeah. at, the, at, at the time that you were stuck, did you know how long you were going to be stuck for or was it a little no, bit sort so, of unending? no. It was that we actually pulled in late that night, about nine o'clock, and it was pouring down with rain. And we got up really early in the morning, about four o'clock. And we started to drive out. We drove for an hour, yes. but all the floodways were just yeah. uh, the water was just running too fast. So we back, we went back, and we stayed there. And we actually uh, couldn't get hold of um, the, the, the council. I think it was a gas going uh, council yeah. yep. at the time, and uh, we they weren't able to even check the roads. <laughs> to see what was going on. So I was actually messaging a friend in Perth. Yes. Because uh, we had Optus at the time and you can only get Optus signal, so there's no Telstra there. So we also had uh, the only phone that people oh, wow. could contact other people um, out of except for the sat phone at Caravan Park. Mm. And people were cancelling their trips. There was people that were on their way to Exmouth to do the whale shark yep. uh, swimming. Yeah. They had to cancel their trip. Uh, it, it was. It wasn't much fun. No, no, you know what though? The, uh, the power that you have. I watched yes. The Walking Dead, and there's always a, a, an <laughs> overlord that takes yes. over a small village, and then they run it with the power of her working phone and his bag of snakes alive. And God, they really could have had a stronghold in that beer. entire area. Yeah. Don't yeah. forget the carton of beer. And who would have thought being with Optus was a good thing? <laughs> <laughs> Very specific to Mount Augustus, as it turns out. Thanks, Trace. Let's go to Mark in Hearn Hill. Hey, Mark. Uh, good morning. How are you? Hey, good, buddy. Wonderful we are heart. talking about if you've ever had to conserve food and water. Have you? Yeah, actually, funny. I, I read that thing about Burning Man this morning, <laughs> and um, it, it took my memory back. And then uh, you guys had this uh, <laughs> excerpt on, and I thought, hey, good time to call. Yeah. So yeah. I, was carting, I was carting cattle out the back of uh, Marble Bar going back a few years mm. ago, and um, <laughs> I'd been on the road for a couple of days, and uh, I had a load of cattle on, had um, two trailers full of cattle. Oh. And I was going out uh, from one station to another, and a big big storm came in. And yeah. I was off on the dirt road, and yeah. um, I basically got stuck. I had four jelly babies and a uh, <laughs> two and a half litre two and a half litre common water bottle, and uh, I was uh, I was there for forty eight hours. Oh, oh man! So no, four no. jelly babies. Do you do the math then and work out how much you're going to have? But you don't know how long you're stranded well, for. Don't. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I didn't. I didn't know how long. So. Um, after getting stuck about so just after dark on the first night, I thought, well, best you just pull up because there was there was creek crossings and yes. whatever ahead of me. So I just pulled up and I thought, oh, well, one jelly baby gone, three left. And um, <laughs> I mean, the, 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 people, <laughs> the people from the station flew a plane out the okay. next day about, about three o'clock in the afternoon just to make sure I was okay, but they yes. couldn't land anywhere. Oh, they just, oh, so they just oh, did a lap good. and went back. Yeah, oh, that's the most fun thing. Chuck down another bag of yeah. jelly babies, mate. <laughs> but also, that's it, the truck. Yeah, we know, we know where the truck was. It was still about eighty k's to go into where the station yeah. was to unload these cattle. So they're they're all on the back. I can't do anything about them. Well, they're hungry too. And, um, oh. and I mean, I think yeah, if they could smell the jelly babies, it would have been a revolt. Yeah. Oh, also, I on. mean, it is you're eating one jelly baby every twelve hours or something, when there's a whole Basically. lot of prime beef on the back. I know. <laughs> Pretty much. But when yeah. you are yeah. working out your jelly baby situation, would you eat the whole one, one jelly baby in one go, or, would or you half? Like, oh, no, I'd probably go heads, shoulders, knees, well, and toes. Heads, <laughs> shoulders, knees, yeah, and toes. Yeah, pretty and much. Then, yeah. Pretty much, you just uh, just a bite, nibble. a bite. There goes, <laughs> there goes half, you have a little bit of a nibble. Mark, there goes the toes, a... there goes the head. <laughs> why don't you have a fridge but, on? We spoke to yes, um, Nick, Nick earlier on. Did you have a fridge on board? No, no, it was it was a pretty basic trip, and, yeah. and the station I was working for was yeah. You know, well, this is going back to, to yeah. 20, 27, 28 years ago, so. There wasn't a lot of, um, you know, sort of creature comforts back yeah. then. So, yeah, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. You needed Nick with his fishing uh, line full of there. sausages. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I was, sat, I was sat there for uh, 48 hours, basically, until they rescued me. So, uh, yeah, four jelly babies. So I was, I was getting a bit, a bit angry by you. <laughs> yeah, I bet you were. Four jelly four babies. Four no burning man for you. Thanks, Mark. Sam's, on in, you, Mark. Sam's in Cardinia. Hello. Hi, guys. How are you going? Hi, hey, buddy. Uh, did you have to ration your food and water? Yes, we did. Um, everyone else has brought up weather events, but ours wasn't quite as uh, quite as honest. Yeah. Uh, the boys and I were up in Lancel and driving our four wheel drives along the mm. beach. Yep. <laughs> and they, one of the boys left early and gave us a phone call to let us know that the police should set up a uh, vehicle inspection bay in town. Yes. <laughs> 
So basically, he got a yellow sticker, and every, everyone who'd gone through was getting yellow stickers. Uh, so we were left with a choice: we either stay on the beach and wait it out. Police. <laughs> yeah, we waited out, or we go into town and definitely get a yellow sticker. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we had enough food for about one day. Uh, yeah. The police were doing the long weekend, so they were there all weekend long. Uh, but luckily, we had about two or three cartons of uh, calm dry each. Sure. So I mean we, uh, spent, Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So we spent the entire we spent the entire weekend getting getting blind and fishing all day every day. <laughs> Until you knew the coast because was clear you knew to drive that out of town. Yellow stickers in town. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to call the police mate just to check to make sure that the uh, blockade that they'd gone. <laughs> that they'd gone. Oh, and okay. gave the all clear and then so, we drove through. So the blockade's down, you got the all clear. Did you go straight to get something to eat? Oh, yeah, it well, was straight to the IGA, straight to the IGA. <laughs> the bloody public park, public park barbecues, give me some bacon. <laughs> um, well, problem is, rule, big boys, you've got two rugby players, a water polo player and a power lifter yeah. living off one bucket. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, That's I'm good. surprised you only had three cartons each. Yeah. 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 Well, it was only meant to be one night, not a yeah. whole weekend. I know. Uh, unplanned outage, you might say. Good work. Thanks, oh, Sam. No. God, they were so Great outstanding. stories, everybody. Great stories. This is the Remember, worst. wherever you're going, just pack a little bit extra. Can I say, this is a really difficult job when we've got something to give someone mm. for the best story, but all of them were the best story. So anyway, they Sean, were, no. you have to decide. I think the only re- way we can go then on the back of that is to go to the very first person who started telling their story, and that was Nick. He's well, Nick, walk Nick's great because he came to the. He was a hero who rescued somebody else. Do you know what I mean? Sam's a hero. I do feel like what Sam did was heroic. <laughs> Oh, Tracy and Mark, they were fantastic. <laughs> they as well. were great too. They were great too. Heroic survivors, a group of survivors. Walking the line Nick. of illegal. Yeah, no, but I think what Sam did was, was truly inspirational. And Nick, you've won a Scarborough Live voucher value to $300 to spend at participating businesses such as Rip Curl and Scarborough. Get down there. Fleece up. This is the Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast. We want to talk about what happened over in Mexico. Oh, this is oh unbelievable. God. Gender reveals. Let's just talk about the idea of gender reveals firstly. It feels like something that has been around for hundreds of years because everybody has to do one, but it's literally been the last yes. decade. It's a bit like Elf on the Shelf at Christmas, right? Elf on the Shelf is a new invention yes. and people carry on like it's an ancient tradition and we have to do it. We can't have Christmas without Elf on the Shelf. Now you can't have a baby without having a ridiculously over-the-top gender reveal. Is it only in America we see all this stuff come through? I haven't no. seen too many here, but what I'll say, if anyone's thinking of doing one, they're stupid, <laughs> you're an idiot, don't waste your money. Oh, look... If you want to do it, like, I... No! I, you know what, okay, Sean? Okay. I know. Uh, there are okay. two camps. Gonna... I'm with you on one camp. Yeah. It is stupid. But then on the flip side, you're having a baby and then say, you know, your friends did it five years ago and you go, oh, wait, there, I want to do a reveal. I mm. sort of get it. But the other thing but is, when it started, literally it nobody cares. Yeah. What, like, people want you to have a happy, healthy baby. That's it. If it's a boy or a girl, people will ask out of interest, it's a boy or a girl. And then you tell them, you go, oh, um, they don't need to know beforehand. They don't need... It's not that big a deal. Like, you know care. what I mean? It doesn't deserve a party on its own. Once you, um, Thanks, w- once people stop putting food colouring in cake batter, that's yeah. when it got a little bit crazy. Yeah, that's right. And and this is why... So Maybe some confetti in a balloon. That's it. Nothing cares. more. So remember years ago, um, it was in 2000... Well, a couple of years ago, 2021, a, a California couple's gender reveal began a wildfire... Yes. Um, yeah. scorched 7,000 yep. acres of land. And the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection said that that family was going to be held responsible um, for millions mm. of dollars for mm. the clean-up and damage. As they should be. Um, and I this, guess stupidity. And this here is just... This is, well, so this, this is so next bad. level. It's, it's awful, so, this Mexican story. Um, so there is a video that has gone viral. It's got a couple that are smiling in front of a O oh Baby sign, right? Mm. So it's like big 3D letters, O oh Baby. The video is filmed by party guests. It begins as a light aircraft drafted in to perform the incredible reveal comes into view as a small plane approaches. It releases pink smoke to signify the couple um, are having a girl. Yep. But as the pilot has dipped down to release the smoke, something's happened and the wing of the plane has been ripped off. Now, that sort of happened over the top of everyone. So everyone is cheering. Yeah, because they found it's because, out that it's oh a girl. Oh my God, it's a girl. But no one's looked over the fact that the plane, the wing's been ripped off. This pilot has died. It's a 32 year old pilot that was hired to do this. Mm. This is, this is the um, sound of the um, gender reveal. <laughs> Oh, 
cheers. The wing has come off. And people are still cheering. They're cheering the gender reveal at this stage, which they now know is a girl. Oh. This guy like, has crashed his plane. Down. I don't That's... know. I just think once you... Okay, this is my thing with gender reveals. Each of their own, do what you want to do, have a great time, right? But nothing with explosives, fire. Yes. Nothing that can just harm people. Just cut a cake people. or pop a balloon. Seriously. Yeah. Come down. No, burnouts. <sighs> like, oh, come on. Come on. I'm hearing you loud and clear. Burnouts. That's the, the coloured tyres. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Where do you even buy those? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, imagine but... how much they are. I mean, normal tyres are so expensive, yeah. let alone getting one that's got pink in it. <laughs> the gender reveal shouldn't be like the opening of the Olympics. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nobody's... G- it's so self-indulgent. So, oh. Exactly. Uh, Sean's spoken, everybody. Stop it. It's the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. Father's Day yesterday, Sean. Yeah. yeah how did you go? Uh, it was like... Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, we had a lot of things on, um, a lot of kids' sport in particular on. So, you know, I got woke up in the morning, but my kids an hour older, so yes. to get them out of bed before 9 o'clock on a Sunday is an absolute mission. Yep. I saw one of my sons, Cooper, I saw him probably for five minutes before 12, and I was yep. just mm-hmm. running out the door, and um, he'd had a belter the night before, so he looked like he was dying. You know that one? Yeah. And he's like, oh, happy birthday, Dad. You're a uh, 17-year-old son? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah, I'm against it, but I can't stop him. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, he's undiluted cordial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, all it is because he's underage. Uh, the oldest, no wonder he's thirsty. Yeah. yeah the, the oldest was, um, yeah, I saw him, but the, the, the youngest two, they came in and gave me a yes. hug and happy birthday. Megan made me breakfast. So that was nice. Um, we were talking about going out for dinner later that night, but by the end of the day came, we were all a bit knackered. Because you had footy grand final. Sonny had a grand yeah, final. Yeah, she had a grand final. We had yeah. a, I, my team had a prelim final. Yeah, right. And it goes all day, so. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, no... I was satisfied. Do you, presents? Satisfied. No, I mean, weren't. it's all about presents. No, you weren't. Even though they're bought <laughs> you with your money. <laughs> I think I was. Well, well, how would the no. present thing go? You weren't. Um, no, Megan went to the shop, so I did ask for a pair of sneakers, new pair of sneakers and stuff, and she got me um, ones that I didn't like. But um, oh, what'd she get you? What did you I want? I don't like the colours. Well, what are the oh. colours? Yeah, they're ASICs. They're like bluey something or other. No, just we, 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 want, we, want like, we, we like a simple sneaker, don't we? We like the blacks, we like the whites, we like mm. the greys. Mm. We don't want to... Or maybe purple. <laughs> so, uh, and then she got me She got me a colourful uh, gym, couple of gym bits and pieces, which I need. I okay. need at the moment. Some Lululemons but, and a crop um, top. I, but the top doesn't fit. Oh, because oh, you're too, I've had a blow too massive. over the last four days. You know what I mean? Because it would yeah. be a massive muscle since you've been doing all your push-ups. No, no, since I haven't exercised for oh, five, five days Oh, because you had the now. medical procedure. Yep. You've yeah. just withered but, away. But all in all, I've got to say, um, that's the best I've been treated in a long time. Oh, so, oh, that's nice. so this is the best in recent memory, best yep. Father's Day? Yep, so I'm really yeah. happy. Yeah. My dad's been sprouting lies lately. It happened during his birthday and it happened at Father's Day. He says, I quote, I don't want anything. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Brian. And I said to him, you can't say that. He goes, why? No. Because you want all of it. That's great comedy, Brian. Well done. He wants all of it. He wants Put- all of it. The thing is that he just goes, what's happening now is you're not telling me what you want because you can't verbalise one yes, thing. You can't. Because there's a thousand things going through your brain so what'd you at the get same him? time. I, still, I got him a couple of cartons of beer and then I said to him, what, oh, yeah. pick out something that you want. So for his birthday, I end up getting him a new whippersnipper. Oh, good idea. And for Father's That's Day, a Lamborghini. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, he, he doesn't want He doesn't. He doesn't. He want wants anything. for nothing. He wants for nothing. What well, you should start doing, idea. Nathan, is just going to the shed when he's not looking, and grab something, wrap it up and give it back to him. He would not know that he bought that ukulele for $15. He's got everything in there. On sale from Big W. Yeah. He wouldn't know. It's still in the box. He's a 10-year-old bread maker. Never yes. used. <laughs> I did. Uh, we ordered or saw heaps of photos of um, people with their dads. Yeah, yeah, Day, yeah. So it was lovely. great. I, I love to see everybody getting celebrated in that way because I've had a problem with Mother's Day for years that we all celebrate our mums and I yeah, do because yeah. we love our mums. Yeah. Dads sometimes get the slots. we leave the dads out. Dads last, get the slots. Yesterday was really great. Yeah. 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 You don't, so it's sorry, no fun you making know, your dad a card. Ever gets you any attention. No, nothing. Yeah. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.